so far we had made our login and also we have redirected the user to the dashboard page if his login is successful now few things which we need to take care of before we go move ahead is remove some of the logic from the controller and put it in a factory because this is not something which I would want to happen inside the controller so first of all I will go inside my resources assets JS and I'll create a folder called models and that I'll create my sorry the user model it's a JS file all right now quickly I'll do my app dot factory let's say this is the user model for now I have the HTTP dependency HTTP right and where user model okay, so object return user model and I'll simply take this and put it here so it will be user model dot do login yeah that's it so obviously I need to do a return on this just everything is fine I will not get the location here I don't want to do that so I'll remove it from here I don't need the HTTP inside my controller anymore so I'll remove that as well and I'll add the dependency user model and then in do login just get rid of this code and say if user model dot do login right I need to pass the username and password object so I'll say where user object equals this username equals scope dot login dot oh I can just copy paste it about data where data equals this I'll pass this data to this function now I'll get that data here right and these will change to okay and then in this I'll say then function and then this I can do dollar location not path that should be dashboard so yes I think with this done the only piece is I need to get this JS file in gull so I'll do mix scripts sc yes yes inside my models I have user model dot js and I want this inside public models sorry js models dot js and that should be versioned obviously um, yeah things are correct here and the last thing is inside my blade I need to add models 
Okay. Check the source code. Okay, I made some mistake, I guess. Ah, yes. I have to stop gulp. Do a build. And then I can keep it on watch. Right? Now if I hit refresh. Yes, this is coming. Now I have some parts error, I think. Where is it? Ah, yes, I understand. So in this, this will be equals. That should take care. And inside user controller, I have a similar problem. Line number four, yes. That's the problem with copy paste. I think the yeah. Now quickly check if our code is working. Fine, with wrong password, it doesn't work. And with the correct password, it's giving me a same problem. I think the main reason is this data must be getting conflicted. So what I can do is I'll do login data, make these necessary changes because it is overriding it. And yeah, hit refresh. It's still not matching, which means let's quickly check what is the payload going. It's still the same, is it? All right, I'll quickly fix it and come back. Yeah, I got the problem. It was again a wrong variable name. I'm passing email as the key in controller and when I was fetching it in factory it was username and that's where the problem is refresh reach me okay so the factory is now correctly passing the username password this is where I have made a console getting the object so yes this is how we have refactored our controller to just talk to a factory and get the user and the factory is now doing all the uh, work of making the HTTP calls give an alert if the response is wrong or else you know the redirection is happening now from the controller like we do in Laravel so yeah, that's about it in this tutorial on refactoring the controller. In the next lesson, I'm going to work on the routes.